Alrighty then. Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. I got walkie talkies. They used to belong to the university, but then they got donated to the comms labs. And he's and the comms lab teacher is potentially retiring soon, so he's essentially having a clear out. So I came into possession of them. So we've got four, two types, which is the older type and the newer type. We're going to do a teardown of the older type. And we're going to put the newer types down. They all work. I finally got them all communicating with each other. They require computer communication programming, which is bad because... I don't exactly have the cables or the software for it. I'll download the software and hopefully get the cables at a later date. But this particular model, actually, let's have it this particular model because it's got missing knob. There's a few more still sitting out waiting to go in the skip, so I will salvage from as and when. Gain some more spare bits. The first will be rid of this, grab a screwdriver that works. This is for general interest a Kenwood TK360G bracket N bracket. <coughs> uh, let's go on one of these. That will fit that one. Good. Oh, it's loose. These may have already been dismantled, I don't know. But anyway, they all work. It's actually, you know, I was thinking, it's a shame that the uni channels aren't still using the same channel. Actually, it's a good thing. Because my tests right now be interfering with them. <laughs> because I've been playing with them. <laughs> but the plan is, is to use these on holiday. Because I've wanted walkie-talkies for holidays for ages. Because mobile phones are such a fucking pain abroad. The, the mobile phone companies charge ridiculous money just to make a simple call. Just to ask just when you want to know when, where your parents are or if they want to know where you are. So I go, fuck you phone companies, I'm having walkie talkies. I was going to buy them, but uh, these seem to have come across my path first, so I don't need to buy them. Now I don't know how easy these things are going to be to dismantle, because I've never dismantled these sorts of things before. I only dreamed of it. I also want to get myself some more docking bays, or two, two more docking bays. I'm not sure I really need eight of the things, but it gives me enough to spare, and if one decides to fuck up, the batteries go dead. I can't, the batteries charge pretty quickly, probably because they've already got residual charging. That's really useful when screws fly across the room, isn't it? Now, I don't know. God, um, oh. Yeah, these are going to be awkward on the teardown, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, hang on. I do not have a clue if you need a radio license to use these. Probably not. I wouldn't see why. Uh, there's no other obvious places to pop panel off. There's this panel off. Let me pop this panel off. There's something loose in there, which is never a good sign. <laughs> This panel doesn't like to come off basically. It is loose in there. Hmm. Something or other. I'm not sure what. Um, yes, this thing's a bit more difficult. I might require a bit. What is how Dave Jones term it? Percussive maintenance or me just jam screwdriver in and yank? Yeah. If there's nothing obvious saying, dismantle me here, then it's jam screwdriver running yank. Wait till something breaks off, basically. Come on! Mm. These aren't offering a very good teardown, because they're being, well, bastards, basically. I wonder if this loose thing uh, causes it any problems. Back on goes the battery, doesn't fit on properly, great. Uh, da, 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 switch the on. A beep, which is a good sign. Let's turn on that one. Hello, hello. 
Hello, hello. 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 See, they work. How awesome is that? They'd be useful on holiday. And just for pissing around. <laughs> Um, yes, um, hang on, I've got a service manual for these, why don't I just read that? <laughs> See, I am a silly bastard, or stupid. <laughs> Let's read the service manual. Loading, 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 loading. Loading, 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 loading. Yeah, it's loaded. Good. I'm hungry. Me need food. There's a version with buttons on it, which is a shame this isn't these versions because that'd be programmable, you see. La 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 la. We cannot go. Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> pack no press program function to activate program function Christian the program one of the following is there even one and, uh, I don't know how you program them or even connect them to a computer Right, let's get to the dismantly bits. Some could call this defeatist, maybe it is. Ah yes, it is with the ports I expected. And this is definitely from a time of old, this is definitely from the 90s looking at the illustration of that computer. In fact, that looks like an 80s computer. Did they really have a warranty that was over 10 years? Yeah? I can't believe that. I can see these being from the 90s, yeah. Uh, cloning cable. I have to see if we can get okay. self programming mode. Oh, I don't have stuff for self programming in that, so I'm not completely screwed. Let's disassembly instructions. Ah, oh, here we go. So we take off those two screws. The knobs come off and so does that, so we need pliers. Got one knob's missing, because of someone. So we're just gonna stink. And then we need to remove that them things inside. Oh god. How the devil do we do that? I don't know we have to desolder it for disassembly. Oh come on, I'm not doing that. I don't have my soldering iron on. Yeah, there's them. Hang on. Let's just think here. Ah, that was loose, that's good. Is forcing it, which potentially can do. This one's going to be a bit more resistant. Oh no, hang on, it did give good. Good, good, good. Because I don't have the proper tool to remove it, you see, I just have a flathead screwdriver and a bit of progressive maintenance. Although my terminologies are better, like wacky things and spinny things and springy things. <laughs> they sound far more professional than percussive maintenance, don't you think? Yay! I'm not completely moron.
You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Oh, there's one on the aerial as well. It's all sake. Isn't that annoying? There it is. Can we get this in there? Yes, we can. Yeah. Come on. I love how there's a BNC connector in there. Yay, look at that. Spinny, spinny. Right, I should really stop reciting and editing the Teletubbies song to what I'm doing. There we go. Um, I'll have to try and remember how this all goes again. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. I didn't expect it to explode like that. Oh, God. Oh, shit. There's loads of things. Huh, it looks like it's waterproof to a certain extent. Oh, God, that thing fell out. Oh, crap. I don't know where it went. No. Oh, it's just a clicky thing anyway. What fell? No, something fell down here. Probably black, so it's impossible to see. Hmm. Not as old looking electronics as I thought would be. Oh, there's two screws in here that have fallen out from somewhere. Well, that's no good. That'd short something out and break it. Then I wouldn't have a walkie-talkie to play with. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually, because it's like, yay, free, free, free. Uh, there's the RF thingy part. I don't know much about radio stuff. It's all a bit of a mish. Right, it looks like it's just a single board. And there's stuff on the other side, but you have to do some desoldering to really remove this board. May not have the soldering iron on me. But we've got a chip that's marked from 2002, 39th week. There's the connector that goes for the button panel, actually. Ha! <laughs> There's a model which has a little display in that on. I also just heard Bitchy Bitch Girl laughing. You know what the funny thing is? Joke's on her. I've been skanking up her clean cutlery. I stopped short of rubbing it over my groin. <laughs> but yeah, you wanna be an ass? I'll be an ass back. <laughs> yeah. My parents laughed when I told them that. <laughs> yes, I can be the nicest person in the world, piss me off, and I make you regret it. <laughs> And I'm hungry. I need food. I've got crisps somewhere in here. So let's put this back together. It's actually surprisingly quite boring inside. There's a lot less than I thought there would be. I thought there'd be more to it. Here's the two screws that were rolling around inside. They're definitely not the right ones. So make sure they come out. Yeah, it's 2002 design. No wonder it's all computerised. Why the hell does it have such like 80s styled computer on? It's really quite postmodern. Postmodern. Pop these back in. I don't know how the hell they fell out. <laughs> Put this back together and be happy. Reasonably interesting. It's a bit boringer than I expected. I suppose it'd be interesting if you understand RF stuff, but I don't. There's some interesting stuff in here, but I don't understand any of it. You've got what looks to be the main processor, a few random miscellaneous stuff. There's the RF stuff. Knobs up there. And stuff like that. And also an O-ring to offer some form of protection from the weather. Because these sorts of things are used outside. Beautiful.
beautifully. Oh, I am a pirate. This one's still charging. The charger gets hot, but the batteries don't, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Normally batteries get warm during charging. Not just the charger. Go back in there. Don't you just love screws which don't fit? They appear out of nowhere and don't fit in anything. Hmm. So the two screws which have appeared from nowhere they're just randomly inside and they don't fit in anything, okay? That makes positively no sense whatsoever. But hey. That was random. <laughs> and I just wanted the other students communicating with a housemate or some crap like that. Nice circuit board. Nice construction actually. Very nice construction to it. It's just a shame I don't understand absolutely any of it. It's all just radio magic. <laughs> I'm really not an expert on radio. I'm not an expert on any electronics but I know some stuff better than I do other than radio is one of the ones that I don't know. Right, let's screw this thing back together. There's the two random screws we've gained that have originated from nowhere and didn't fit in them holes that I thought they did. Screw it back together. I think I'll do that with all the ones with loose things inside because they're probably all like reproduced repro screws out of nowhere. Uh, can't see him out the window. I can hear him. Speaking in some undistinguishable foreign language. <laughs> the universities are very multicultural. They tend to have people from all walks of the globe in. There we go, don't want to do it too tight. Then we pop in this thing which goes... Oh! <laughs> okay, I need to remove that and redo it. Yay! But I don't want to flick that because it's set to the correct channel. I don't want to mess up the channel. Has something to do with being a stop blockery thing rather than something that turns itself. At least I can always reset it to one. Hmm. Some adjustment is required, my friends. Some adjustment. This mustn't be the most exciting video ever, but hey. 
we cut it there, you know how it works. Thanks for watching. Get too boring for you watching me adjust stuff. I know this is going off subject of the teardowns, but these walkie talkies are bloody fun. I've had so much fun with these today. I've been up to all sorts of mischief. <laughs> uh, they should be quite useful on the back cap charity bike ride I'm going to have on the weekend actually. So I can remain in contact with my brother at all times. Most people would be like, why don't you use a phone? Walkie talkies are cooler. And I've kind of always wanted proper walkie talkies. And these are the proper thing. Uh, I've done some research, these, were, these don't actually require licenses. Which is not particularly surprising. Um, generally the ones which require licenses are going to be bigger and more powerful. But they still have a ridiculous insane range that they use throughout the university, or were. Now they'll just be used for my own personal entertainment. <laughs> Such as stick on in the bush outside the front of my house, sit in my brother's room watching it, and anyone who walks past, make weird noises. Uh, I'm too easily amused. But hey, what else could I do? Play games, build something, or make stupid noises into a walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie here with stupid noises, why not? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. On a completely different side note, my Electron laptop motherboard screwed up a while back. So I found this on eBay, and it works! So excellent, the Acon Electron laptop can be fully repaired. I can take out the old motherboard, stick it in that case, repair it, and that leaves a perfectly working motherboard in the laptop for continued development, because I don't really want that to be slowed down. And my composite adapter is fine. Heh. <laughs> it's just the output from the beep then. So, I think that can end it. Thanks for watching.